Hi, it's Dan from Indaba Music. Uh, we wanted to take a few minutes to take you through the Indaba Music Session Console 2.0, our recording, mixing, and editing software. Uh, the software is hooked into the entire Indaba system, so musicians uh, from all over the world working in a session together can all access the same software from that session and work on their song together. Um, it has many of the features that uh, our previous version had and that you'd expect in any DAW, uh, mute, solo, volume automation where you can on any particular track uh, set the volume to change dynamically over time as the track plays. Um, it also has uh, you know more uh, clip, clip level editing like looping a region or cropping a region. I'll show you cropping quickly. Um, but the stuff that's really exciting about it, which is brand new, includes high quality recording directly to the internet. Uh, the ability to search through a pool of Creative Commons based loops that you can add to your music and use however you like, uh, as well as real-time effects that you can add to any track which are non-destructive, so they're on top of the track and they don't actually affect the audio, um, as well as the ability to work both on and offline with the software. Uh, so I'll show you a few of those features. Um, starting with, over here we have the session files. So these are all the tracks in the session that I'm working on here. Um, and I can take any of these, drag them directly into the timeline, um, and queue them up to in, in the, within the mix so that they're, um, I can edit them all together. Uh, so I'll, I'll start to play you what it sounds like all together, and then um, I'm going to solo one of the tracks so I can really highlight what the real-time effects do. In the dead of that night, like the summer of Sam, I got word of the promotion you caused me a telegram. And so if I solo the vocals, up, and we do something we like add a delay, up. I found a way Way over the fear and through the flames. Don't follow me. So that's one of the real-time effects, um, and as you can see, in addition to the delay that we use, there's also a compressor, a chorus, a stereo multi-tap delay, uh, different EQs, different reverbs, and a flanger effect. Um, I'll show you the recording, which is one of the most exciting things to us. So let's select a track. I'm going to have to put my headphones on so that I can monitor along, uh, so you won't actually be able to hear um, what's playing while, while I'm recording, but you'll certainly be able to hear the output. Um, so let me get this set up here, and hit record. I'm all alone at it once again, seeping in like a feeling you haven't felt since way back when. In the dead of that night, like the summer of Sam, I go... So that should be enough just to give us a sense of, uh, of the recording feature. Seeping in like a feeling you haven't felt since way back when. In the dead of that night, like the summer of Sam, I got word of the promotion you caused me. So there's the recording. Um, and as we looked at before, the audio loop library is, is pretty expansive, and essentially um, it lets you choose any of these different things. So I could pick dark electronic percussion, and then I can take any of these and just drag them right into the mix. Um, and add them for, for our use, uh, thanks to Creative Commons. Um, so that's kind of a high-level picture of all the new functionality. Um, certainly there are some other you know, interesting tools that we have where you can you know, um, split regions and, and things like that, but that's really the core of the, the new functionality. Thanks.